Okay, so today we our topic is we were going to start from the work. Okay, what is work? Can you define that? Work is the ability of a body to do what's it called, sir? No, that's energy. Work, work. Energy. Work. Uh, I don't know, sir. The product of force and distance. in the direction of force. It's fine. It's called work. So work is a product of force and distance in the direct and in the direction of distance in the direction of force. It's fine. So that's why yes. We can write work is force into distance. Or we can write work, which is denoted by W, force is denoted by F, and distance is denoted by D. So W is equal to FD. Now, as we know, unit, as we know that unit of force is Newton unit of distance is meter. So the unit of work is Newton meter which is equal to equal to Joule. It's fine. So one Joule will be equal to Newton meter. It's fine now. The joule yes. can be written in the Newton meter. And another thing, work is scalar quantity. Okay. Write a MCQ which is coming into the paper. That is, we know that Newton is equal to kg meter per second. So, per second square. So, Joule is equal to Newton meter. Or Joule will be equal to kg meter per second square into meter. So, Joule will be equal to kg meter square per second square. This is coming into papers okay write the joule in base unit this is coming in the mcqs okay it's fine now now we are going to discuss energy what is energy Energy is the, the ability to do work or the capacity to do work, okay? It's called energy. It means, it means work can be replaced 
by energy because without energy work is not possible so without energy work is not possible it's fine yeah Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, so there are different types of energy you must know. So, different sources of energy. There are two main source of energy. One is called renewable energy resources resources okay there are two main resources of energy one is called renewable energy resources what is the renewable energy resources the type of the type of energy resource which can be reused or produced by waste material like like solar energy Solar energy is a renewable energy, like wind energy. Wind energy is also renewable energy, like tides energy. So tides energies are also renewable energy. That's fine. Yeah. Yes, sir. Similarly, the second type, similarly, the second is non-renewable resources of energy. So, the energy which cannot be reused is called non renewable energy sources like fossil fuel fossil fuel fossil fuel like oil petrol diesel okay and the methane gas and the gases so this is our the fossil fuel and the second fossil fuel is nuclear energy that's fine so these all are the non-renewable energy resources yeah hear that. okay sir have you noted that uh, yes. Noted. Easily noted. Yeah. Okay, when you... Give me two minutes. Give okay. Two minutes. Hello. okay. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, sir. Okay. Now, there are two types of energy. Two types 
of energy okay one is called the first one is called kinetic energy it's fine yes yes and uh, so sir and the second one is called uh, uh, gravitational potential energy exactly so i am only writing potential energy then i am going to explain the gravitational potential energy okay so these are the two major types of energy one is kinetic energy another one is potential energy so first of all we are going to discuss the kinetic energy okay so what is kinetic energy yeah can you define the kinetic energy so the the energy of a body due to its motion that's good the energy of an object due to its motion from one okay for motion is called kinetic energy that's fine so the equation of so, so, so the equation is a uh, k equal mv square divided by 2 that's good that's good so the energy kinetic energy is equal to half mv square it's fine so where m is mass and its unit is kg and v is the speed and its unit is meter per second and ek is the kinetic energy and its unit is joule and the kinetic energy is scalar quantity it's fine yes sir the second one is potential energy so there are further two types of potential energy one is called gravitational potential energy yeah can you define the gravitational potential energy sir the 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 energy of a body due to to weight okay can uh, either can you repeat again the energy of a body due to its weight okay so can you write the proper definition the energy stored in an object due to its height it's fine or due to change in position so the energy which is stored in a body due to change in position or due to height is called gravitational potential energy it's fine yes sir okay the equation for gravitational potential energy yeah what will be the equation mgh that's good so gravitational potential energy 
is equal to m g h or we can symbolically write like that e p is equal to m g del h it's fine so this is the second equation yes yes so yes, the unit of gravitational potential energy is joule okay its unit is also joule it's fine there is another energy which is known as elastic potential energy the energy stored in an object due to compression compression or stretching okay in an object is called elastic potential energy this energy will be discussed in a level but here in igcse you have the deformation chapter okay you know the deformation chapter yeah yeah okay okay so but this energy is going to discuss later on okay so kindly okay. note this kindly note this okay sir Yeah, have you noted that? Uh, yes, sir, you can move on. Okay. So there are different forms of energy. Now we were going to write the forms of energy, okay? Forms of energy. Now there are two types, but there are forms of energy like chemical energy. The second type, the second form of energy is uh, that is the uh, chemical energy, elastic energy, chemical energy, elastic energy. Next is the nuclear energy. Next was the thermal energy. Next was the electrical energy. Sir, heat yeah. energy also. Yeah. Heat energy. Yeah, the thermal is also known as heat energy, okay? The thermal energy is also known as heat energy and the thermal energy is also known as internal energy okay internal okay. energy so there are three names of the thermal energy is fine any other energy you know that sound energy sound energy that is the solar energy or light energy okay light energy or you call them solar energy it's fine so these are all the forms of energy ah yeah there is magnetic energy magnetic energy it's fine so these are all the forms yes, of energy, okay? Now, 
Now these are the forms and there are two types in which the energy will be appear that is kinetic energy and gravitational potential energy. It's fine. Gravitational yes, sir. potential energy. So, so if you see, there are many types of energy. Therefore, the law is given, which is known as law of conservation of energy. Law of conservation of energy. Do you know law of conservation of energy? Yeah. Uh, yes, sir. Yeah. Can the, you repeat it? Yeah. The, what's it called? Uh, Foreign isolated. The, yes. So, so what you are saying? Kindly, kindly, can you continue? Uh, the, the conversion of energy of, uh, uh, from one form to another. Exactly, exactly. That's good. That's good. So, law of conservation of says energy cannot be destroyed, cannot be destroyed, or created. nor created, but it can be converted from one form of energy from one form of energy to another but the total energy remains constant. It's fine. So the last line is very important. Total energy remains constant for an isolated system. So what do you mean by isolated system? Yeah. So I don't know. Okay. Last time I have written in conservation of momentum, isolated system, no external force. If you remember, no external force. So let's consider and conser conservation of energy. So total energy will be uh, constant, but energy can be interchangeable. Okay. So, according to that law, according to that law, energy can be interconvertible, interconvertible, it's fine. So, it can be converted from one form to another form, okay? Yeah, whether. Okay, sir. Okay. Have you noted that? Oh, sir, wait one minute. Okay. But anyway, my answer about the Tom Tacomato. Some now, okay, so let's consider the interconversion of energy. For example, for example, that's a house. I'm making the house now, okay? Can I make your house? 
ओके ओके सो फॉर एग्जांपल आई एम मेकिंग यूर हाउस ओके ओके फॉर एग्जांपल लाइक दिस इज द रूफ ऑफ द हाउस ओके तो आई एम मेकिंग जस्ट अ वन फ्लोर ओके नॉट होल हाउस फॉर एग्जाम्पल दिस इज द रूफ लाइक डेट इट्स फाइन हैदर है डोर ऑफ द हाउस फॉर एग्जाम्पल इट्स फाइन फॉर एग्जाम्पल यू आर लिविंग समवेयर इन विलेज एंड दिस इज यूर दैट हाउस and there is the stairs is connected with this house stair is connected with this house so that's these are the stairs it's fine now yes sir fine consider to be you are standing here sitting here somewhere okay for example you are here you okay you are sitting here sitting okay at rest means you are at rest what is the energy will be there at that time so you have the gravitational potential energy it's fine so you have the maximum gravitational potential energy that is mg del h but because yes, you are sitting there so that's why your kinetic energy will be zero it's fine now the stair yes, is there but yes. you want to jump from there okay so you you are the gymnastic player and you want to jump from there and just above the ground just above the ground okay just above the ground maximum kinetic potential energy maximum kinetic energy that will be half mv square But the gravitational potential energy will be zero. It's yes. fine. So yes, yes. Here the total energy is equal to sum of kinetic energy plus potent gravitational potential energy, and kinetic energy is zero. And you have the maximum uh, potential energy, and your total energy is maximum. here again the total energy is the sum of kinetic energy plus gravitational potential energy but this time your gravitational potential energy is zero but your kinetic energy is maximum so that's why you are again energy total energy is maximum in both cases if you see here your total energy is maximum okay It's fine. Yes, yes. If you study somewhere in between, you will found that fifty percent of your energy will be gravitational potential energy, and fifty percent of your energy will be the kinetic energy. But the total energy will be the maximum, even at the mid. Yes, it's yes. fine. So the, this the, the yeah. so the energy will be in equilibrium. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, they will be in equilibrium. Means they will be converting. They start converting from one form to another form. It's fine. Yes. Okay. Let's consider another example. That 
at your house you you know that there are bulbs are there okay so when the electric energy come to the bulb electrical energy comes to the bulb the bulbs give you light energy plus heat energy plus kinetic energy it's fine so that your electrical energy is convert into the light energy heat energy and kinetic energy that's fine yeah yes sir clear Clear. Similarly, if you see the fan, have you see the fan? Uh, yes, fan. yes. Is there a fan in UAE? Yes, sir, there is. Okay, the, okay, okay. I thought so mostly people are using AC, so that's why I ask it. So, so there's both. There's both. Okay, okay. So when the electrical energy is come to the fan, Electricity means electrical energy, okay? okay? Electrical energy come to the fan. Fan gives you mechanical energy. Mechanical energy means kinetic energy, okay? Okay. Plus heat energy. And there will be a sound produced by the fan. So that's why plus sound energy. It's fine. Yes, yes. Similarly, a girl, a girl drop the glass. Glass, okay. For example, you drop the glass from your hand. So this is a glass. If this glass has the gravitational potential energy, you are drinking the water. Now this glass has the gravitational potential energy and you drop the glass. And the glass is uh, convert into the pieces. So it means the gravitational potential energy will be convert into the kinetic energy, heat energy, plus sound energy. It's fine. It's fine. Yes, sir. Okay. Similarly, if I give you the dry cell, have you know the dry cell? I uh, know, sir. The cell which is used in the clocks. Ah, oh, yes, yes, so close. The dry cell. Okay. This yes, dry sir. cell have the chemical energy. Yes, okay. sir. And chemical energy is converted into uh, electrical energy. Electrical energy plus kinetic energy, okay? Yes, yes, okay. Okay, and something will be going on like bulb, lighting the bulb or anything. So that will be the light energy also will be there. It's fine. Now, similarly, yes. you know the dams. Dams. Uh, yes, I know. So dams store the water. Yes. So it means it has gravitational potential energy. Yes. So when they release the water, it will convert it, first kinetic energy. Yes, and then uh, electrical energy. And there will be some heat in the water is also produced. Okay. Heat yes, energy okay. will also be there. So these are the all examples which is coming into your papers, okay? The conversion of these energies and the examples which is coming into your papers. It's fine. Okay. Okay, so, let's, uh, yeah. Le uh, let me note down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kindly note it because these are very important, okay? Especially these examples. I will make a line for you that you can segregate them. It's fine now. Now you can differentiate them. Okay. 